So could we just take a minute and just thank all the people that did all the hard work to, to really make us think about why we do what we do. So just <laughs> thank you. So Sarah asked me to take a few minutes to talk about my aileron journey, and I will try to make it brief, but there is a lot to talk about for, for on this journey. I help lead a manufacturing company called Dayton Phoenix Group here in Dayton, Ohio. And my business partner, Gail Cookin and I, first stepped foot on this gorgeous Aileron campus in December of 2013. We were awestruck from that very first tour. We could not believe that there was a place that was dedicated to helping people like us just small business owners working really hard, trying to make a positive impact on our team members and on our community. And it existed right here in our own backyard. We were so excited. We immediately signed up for the Course for Presidents class. And one of the things we learned right away, and we had, they forced us to admit that we have a culture whether we like it or not, whether it's good or bad, we have a culture and it beats our strategy every time. We also learned in that class about focus, clarity, intentionality, and business relationships. And I cannot tell you how many times I have quoted, a dream without a plan is just a wish. And your employees don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So as soon as that class was over, we had our leadership team read that classic story, Who Moved My Cheese? Because we didn't know what the change was going to be, but we knew over that horizon there was a mountain of change just waiting for us. From the quotes on the walls to the dream room, the walking path, the fireplace, the um, having meetings down by the waterfall. We have taken advantage of every square foot of this space. Since we started our journey, every six weeks, we have our 20-person leadership team come out here and have lunch together and have a half-day meeting just working on the business, strictly on the business. And I try to set the stage when I kick off that meeting every time, and I ask our members to just take a moment, clear their mind, and breathe in the aileron air. <laughs> a few of them look a little crazy at me, but it's the truth. The air here, it's always 75 degrees and sunny, and there is a special ingredient it just makes me think and act differently when I'm here. It puts my heart and my mind in the right place to work on my business as soon as I pull down that winding driveway. By using the professional management system and the doc model as our guides, we have defined and published our core purpose, our core values, we even have a charitable mission statement. And I've added two people to my staff. One is a communications coordinator, and the other is the champion of our culture. Who would have ever thought that one? <sighs> We've also redone our hiring process to focus strictly on finding the right fit for our culture. And we now know that the way we grow our business is by growing and focusing on growing our people. We've also learned all about being courageous leaders instead of the cowards that we had been. And what does that mean? That means stop finding excuses, stop trying to point the finger and find some blame. It means to roll up your sleeves and really tackle the tough stuff. And so here we are, almost five years later, and my leadership team looks completely different. Now, 
about 50% of the faces really are different because, did you hear that thing about the bus and the seats on the bus and that whole concept? Yeah, yeah. But I now have a much more focused team. One with clarity of purpose, one doing a much better job at rowing all 400 of our team members in the same direction. But my team and I have a long way to go on this journey. But you can ask anyone on my team that Aileron has helped me be a better leader. I now know how to serve them. And what would I say that Aileron's done for me? <laughs> They've given me a lot more confidence in myself, like being able to stand up here and do this. <laughs> I always knew what was the right thing to do but I just never really had the confidence that it was really the right thing to do. And so I would read all those leadership books, and I would dream about, oh, I wish I could be just a leader like that. Oh, if I could just run one of those types of companies. Well, I never thought that that was possible until I walked in these aileron doors. And I was surrounded by leaders just like you, facing the same kinds of obstacles that I face, overcoming them and being leaders of companies that make a difference in people's lives. It's been such a great experience. So all I can really do is just say thank you. Thank you so much to Clay Mateel. Thank you to Joni and all of her staff Thank you to the business advisors, the facilitators, and all the other contributors in this place. I have such deep appreciation for all the gifts that you have given me, my company, and the community that I love so much. We have, on this five-year journey, it has been very challenging even sometimes downright scary. But it's also been extremely, extremely rewarding. But we didn't have to do it alone. Aileron was there for us. They were our friend, they were our coach, they were our advisor, and they were our biggest cheerleader. So on behalf of Dayton Phoenix Group, on behalf of the community, and especially from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, it is now my honor to um, have a, another special guest join us tonight, and that is Mike Matil. Um, Mike is a believer in, um, in the professional management system, but more importantly than that, what makes, what makes Mike, um, his, his drive is his passion for the community, his family, and also our mission. So please join me in welcoming Mike to the stage. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's great to see so many new faces. I've, I've seen some very recognizable faces, but it's great to see so many. Yeah, there's one. Uh, it's great to see so many uh, new faces. Um, you know, I've been through a journey of my own as a business owner, and uh, you would think that kind of we'd eat our own cooking, that professional management would be in our blood and we'd use it all the time. Well, I was one of those guys that wasn't sure I actually wanted to use it. I kind of wanted to buck the system a little bit. Um, so I've owned a couple of businesses where I've implemented professional management, and I've owned a couple that have we have not. And I can tell you that when we put professional management inside a business, it works. Um, and I would never not do it again. In fact, uh, Wes Guype and I have a s nice little project going on right now in, in, uh, in a small town in France to see if we can put professional management in a company down over there. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, isn't it, Wes? Going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> going to be challenging, but it'll be fun. But one thing that we realize is we, we, we are, and I, and the family, will never own or invest in a business where the management team does not have complete conviction around putting professional management into their business. Uh, in about 2010, with a company that I own, CSAFE, I asked Brian Core, the president, I said, look, I need you to hire the best management team in the industry, and I need you to become a disciple, a disciple of professional management. Not a believer, a disciple. 
And the next thing you know, we caught the market wave and the business began, began to grow. And we would not have been ready for the market if we wouldn't have done professional management, if we wouldn't have done strategic planning. And so I am standing here in front of you as somebody that has failed at it and somebody that's been successful at it. And I would much rather be successful. <laughs> so kudos to all of you who are going through this and taking the time out of your business to learn professional management. And there's a lot more to learn. We certainly have not nailed that down yet, but there's a lot more to learn. Second thing is, is that uh, we have a lot of family members here tonight, um, which is symbolic because our family has a deep uh, love for this community in the Dayton region. And one of the gifts that our family has given to this region is aileron. And you all know that, but we are deeply committed to raising the quality of life in America. But also, I remember long ago, my mom and dad had a vision of making Dayton region one of the most livable regions in the country. And the way we do that is by spurring entrepreneurialism and giving the opportunity to hire good or create good jobs and create great businesses. And so our family is deeply committed to that. My mother Mary is here tonight. My wife Michelle is here. My brother and partner in crime and some of the Matil family enterprise stuff is my brother Tim here. And he, excuse me, he serves on the board at Aileron with me as well. We have my sister Jennifer in the back and her husband Pat are here. And I hope I'm not missing anybody else. Oh yeah, my dad's here. <laughs> so <clears throat> I heard my dad say uh, a couple of years ago, he was at one of these events and he said, um, he said, what are we asking you to do at Aileron? So what we're asking you to do is build a business that lasts forever. To build a business that lasts forever. And as I heard uh, Dave talk this morning about his Evergreen Institute, and I was talking, and I, and I was thinking about, we, that's what we're about. We're about building businesses that last forever. And so Aileron is actually on that journey as well. We want Aileron to last forever. And so we haven't got it all figured out, but we're working really hard at it, and we're going to figure that out so that we can be here for this generation and the next generation and the next generation to continue to make Dayton the most livable region in the country. And that is a dream of ours. So what am I supposed to do now? I'm supposed to, inter I'm supposed to introduce somebody that I can't introduce. H how do I introduce my father, right? <laughs> you all know him. You all know who he is. What I can tell you is he is an incredible visionary, and he's a wonderful friend. And I love him dearly, and I know you do too. Clay Matil. Hey, Tim. Oh, nice to you. No, if he if he st stood up any here any longer, he just had taken all my lines. <laughs> Thanks for the introduction, Mike. Uh, you know, what do you say to a group of people um, like this, who we are indebted to as well? We're both indebted to each other, and we're we're committed to sustainability. We're committed to the success of your business. And we want you to be a friend. That's what we want from you, is to look at us, look at Aileron as your friend. I'd like to think that we are the first phone call that you would make if you had a problem or if you were looking to buy another business or whatever it might be. We're here to help you. And I really enjoy the opportunity to interact with the business owners as well. You guys are fun. I mean... <laughs> When we, you come to a, a group of entrepreneurs, right, Lauren? You come to a group of entrepreneurs like this, and there's never a dull moment. You know, there's always <laughs> something, something going on. That's great. So I say thank you because you're a very important part of this community. I say thank you because you put your capital at risk every day to create jobs for other people, and that's the most moral thing that you could do in a free enterprise system is to do that. And again, we're, we're here to help you all we can to, to make that happen. 
So I don't want to go on and on and on. I just, uh, again, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't have done this without Mary. And uh, she's, uh, she's the, the power in the family. And she doesn't look 55 either. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's about it. Did I touch everything, Joni? OK. But keep in mind, um, you know, we want to be your friend. We want to be a lifelong friend. We want, to, we want to be committed to your sustainability plans. You be committed, committed to our sustainability plans. We're partners, and we're moving down the road. And I, I will tell you, too, that this is our 10th year here in this place. And I could not have imagined what, would ha what had happened in the last 10 years. I, I would not have imagined that. So call me a visionary. Call me not a visionary. I couldn't have envisioned this. But I'm really also very excited about the night, ne what the next five years bring. And uh, hopefully I'm still here and have an opportunity to be a part of this. So, again, thanks a lot, and God bless you all. Thank you, Clay. Thank you, Mike. Tonight we also celebrate you, and we're, we're so glad to have you. Gathered in this room tonight is a community, and in true aileron fashion, Rather than me again talking about what it means to me or go on and on about it, I'd love to have you help me show what, what this is. So as I call out your role or your, your, how you contribute to this community, I ask you to raise your glass, raise your hand. So please raise your glass. We are here to celebrate you. Contributors, facilitators, BAs, volunteers, keep your hands up. We, we celebrate you. Aileron staff and vendors, those that make this place tick, please keep your hands up. We also celebrate you. To anyone who is brand new to the Aileron community tonight, we celebrate you because we welcome you as our own. If you are here tonight and you believe in professional management and you believe in this community, we celebrate you. Please look around this room at the, at the leaders, the visionaries that make the quality of life in America a better place, and let's celebrate together. Cheers to you and how you make our community a better place.